go, bring it up, baby. Let's go. Daddy, help me, daddy, help me. What is good, you two men and Planet Raiders family? How is everybody doing? I hope every single one of you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day. But listen, what you guys came here for, this is one of our newest acquisitions on that defensive side of the ball. We brought in linebacker formerly from the Steelers. He is now on the Las Vegas Raiders on a two-year, $9 million contract, averaging $4.5 million a year. I decided I wanted to learn more about him, and I figured the rest of the nation would as well. So, Robert Spillane, film study is what we have for you guys here today. And let's get straight into it. So, on this film study, I'm going to need you guys to look for number 41, because the man is all over the place at all times okay number 41 he's this guy right here where my mouse is on okay so on this first play that i'd like to show you you can see it's a cover two base or a cover four base split high safety set um you're gonna see robert spillane right here he looks like he's about a blitz he looks like he's about to come downhill nope he's gonna go all the way down in the deep middle of the field here and guess what there's going to be a ball caught right just above him, but that's okay. That's okay because I felt like the other guy should have dropped deeper in his zone, but I think that this shows off a little bit of range, a little bit of, you know, what we should see, okay? And you're going to see a little bit better. He makes the tackle there along with the safety, um, but I want to show you guys this, okay? So from this back end, you'll see Robert Spillane is right here. This is week six against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so they've already traded for Miles Jack at this point. Miles Jack should have definitely gone deeper. He should have definitely gone deeper in his zone, but Robert Spillane realizes that his job is to get deep in the middle of the field anyway, so he tries to make up for Miles Jack's mistake. I'm going to click play on the thing so you guys can actually see what I mean. Uh, I just wanted you guys to see it from the back angle as well, but there you guys are. First play of the film study, Robert Spillane doesn't get there too quick, but at the same time, he almost made up for someone else's error, and I kind of like that kind of stuff. When you're doing your job to the point where you can also help others, I like that, right? So you can see Miles Jack is there chasing, trailing behind, I believe, Chris Godwin, that is. So he kind of knew he messed up there, but I like that. So on this next play, the guy, he's a linebacker, man. He's a linebacker. He's going to want to make tackles and something young linebackers in this league um you know don't do too well is that they get really antsy coming downhill robert spillane i believe he's been on uh the steelers his entire career they teach well there you can tell linebacker right here does a really good job not over pursuing and taking a crazy angle on a running back instead he lets the play come to him and makes a sure tackle in the run game as Robert Spillane is used to. Um, there he is. I highlighted or I pointed him out there for you. Robert Spillane comes downhill. Leonard Fournette is no easy task. But like I said, Robert Spillane has that patience and understands that letting the play come to him, not over pursuing because he usually could have. He stayed in his gap. He stayed in his assignment and the play came to him and he took advantage. I like that kind of stuff. To me, that is high IQ, smart football player um just just high football iq you know what i mean so on this next play coming up you're gonna see mr robert spillane um the, the the narrative around him is that he can't cover he sucks uh he's not a good coverage linebacker and in my opinion uh after watching a few hours of his film from this past season uh i found out a thing with him is that yes man coverage he will struggle one-on-one -on -one against a back one-on-one -on -one against a slot receiver he will struggle but what i think is one of his best assets that he brings to a team is the feel that he has for his zone drops the understanding the understanding i should say of his assignment um in zone he's able to take away 
certain routes. He's able to read the route concepts that the offense is trying to throw at the defense. And he does a really good job. Here you're going to see, I believe it's Chris Godwin, try and come in on a quick drag for Tom Brady to throw so that Chris Godwin can get a lot of yak and get closer into that uh, inside the tent. Instead, Robert Spillane is going to read that, come downhill, take that option away, forces Tom Brady to go elsewhere. I think that's important. Here you're going to see it happen, okay? <clears throat> Boom, takes that option away from Brady. Oh, sadly, um, <laughs> the other defender for the Steelers bit down on that player as well, um, which forced another you know hole on the defense. But I think that kind of stuff is important. And there's going to be more options for you guys to see, right? I'm not just saying that that he's good in zone coverage with no with nothing to back it up, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to bring you guys to another game, a game that us fans find very, very um, familiar, right? We might have seen this game, you know? Um, I'm going to take you guys all the way to week 16. I want to see how he did against a high-powered offense like the Raiders, right? Let's be honest. At this point in time, we had Waller, we had Renfro, we had Devontae, we had everyone. So I really wanted to see how he, um, you know, how he performed against a high-powered offense. And in my opinion, he did pretty damn well. And again, just like what he did in that other game where I said, you know, he doesn't over-pursue, he does a really good job with that, he's going to continue to do that. So let me bring that up for you guys here to watch. Back on there. So week 16. Week 16, you guys, okay? Boom, Robert Spillane right here playing that nickel linebacker role. Uh, he did a lot, but honestly, there was a lot of injuries for the Pittsburgh Steelers, so he had to fill in that certain roles. Uh, Robert Spillane here, again, this time Josh Jacobs, no easy tackle again. Again, making a good job, not over-pursuing, letting the player come to him, letting the play come to him, and not making an outlandish angle for for um for the running back to make a nice cutback instead he spills 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 stays in his gap stays in his assignment makes a good play on the ball there so again he continues to do what a good football player should do um now with Robert Spillane I'm not too sure how the Raiders will use him because I think he offers good depth at the outside linebacker spot and I think he's also a good enough player to uh, get rotational reps in the middle linebacker spot as well. So who knows how the Raiders would like to use him, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Here on this play, you're going to really see what Robert Spillane does to make his money, okay? Robert Spillane diagnoses the play very, very quickly. At this point in time of the season, there was a lot of film. Maybe we put this out there too much for opposing teams to see, but he read this. He instantly comes downhill hard. Dips underneath Andre James' shoulder, and he makes a great play. Um, Andre James does usually struggle in the run game, but he completely blows that up by himself. Nobody else, no help there. Robert Spillane coming downhill. Really good technique there to dip underneath the lineman's shoulder. Boop, makes that big play on the running back. I believe that was Brandon Bolden. So a little bit easier of a tackle than a guy like um, – uh Josh Jacobs but still pretty hard um again really good job in my opinion uh for Robert Spillane here this is an underrated part of his game um like I said zone coverage he's pretty well in and this is why I say that he has a good understanding for his zone drops a really good um player that's comfortable out in space and zone may not be the best man on man but in zone, he's good in covering grass uh, and covering a certain area on that green grass. You're going to see Robert Spillane here doesn't bite on the play action. He reads it, then drops back into coverage, takes away a Darren Waller crosser. So, again, Robert Spillane doing a really good job there in zone coverage, comes downhill, reads the play action, takes away Darren Waller, which makes Derek Carr have to roll out in the pocket. Derek Carr makes a good play there, but – that is a good job from the linebacker. You can see it a little bit better here. He initially comes downhill, recognizes the play action, immediately drops back into zone, taking away that big chunk play that would have been there if he wouldn't have dropped in front of Darren Waller. I like that kind of stuff, okay? I really, really do. 
Yet again, next play, another option of him in zone coverage. Like I said, I'm not making these uh, assumptions without being able to back it up. So um, another good rep from him in zone coverage. Um, let me pull it up for you. Here it is. He's here once again next to Miles Jack in this nickel formation for the Steelers. Drops back into coverage, makes the tackle on Foster Moreau. Again, could have maybe done a better job, but I like that, right? Instantly drops into his zone, takes away Devontae Adams, then comes downhill on the check down, makes the tackle on the tight end. Maybe that's just something that a linebacker should do all across the board. But I think that for a guy that was killed all across the media when he was signed for being so bad in coverage, I think that when you put him in zone, he's pretty decent, in my opinion. Now, like I said, it's not all roses and rainbows with this guy, okay? Um, not everything is good. I'm not going to be here to show you guys a highlight tape. We're going to keep it honest, and we're going to truly see. Now, this is a little tough. Hunter Renfro could do this to just about anybody in the league. But on this next rep, you're going to see him one-on-one, -on -one, like I said, manned up against Hunter Renfro, and it's not going to be pretty whatsoever. So you'll see him here, one-on-one, -on -one, Hunter Renfro. He's about to send him in about 10 different directions, but like I said, Hunter Renfro could do that to just about anyone in the league. So Hunter Renfro, boop, double move, beats him there. Then on the scramble drill, beats him again, gets wide open. Um, you know, scramble drill, that's something that you have to be highly, highly aware of especially at the linebacker spot, because stuff like this could happen all the time. So again, like I said, it's not all roses and rainbows. Hunter Renfro beats him on the route there, on that zig route, then beats him in the scramble drill again. Like I said, not all roses and rainbows with a player like Robert Spillane, but it is still a good move, in my opinion, for the Raiders. I do like the pickup. I do like the fact that we're bringing in guys um, and not just anybody, right? I do think that this guy is a starting caliber outside linebacker in the league. I do think that in time, uh, in certain packages, he can go out there and play in that nickel like we saw him take a few reps. Um, but, you know, who knows? Who knows what the Raiders have planned for Robert Spillane? Although I think that this is a fantastic pickup, I think we should still go out there and try and target a true starting caliber three down linebacker, man. Let me know what you guys think. Robert Spillane, we got to know him a little bit more. We got him locked in for two seasons. So like I said, man, if you want, grade the signing in the comment section down below. And shout out to the guys on Planet Raiders that um, are watching it there. As always, family, I love y'all. Stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'm out, you guys. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star.